then we get over to Jake's craft table. And over here are all of his leather working tools. Um, we do also have a heat embosser, so we can put you know initials on to leather goods, um, thicker paper items like notebooks and things like that. We can emboss initials. Um, and then he's got a variety of tools. I have some stamps in there. I can do some tooling. I like to do that, it's a lot of fun. And then my leather paints, because I do all the painting on the leather. I love to do that, it's a lot of fun. Then on the wall, as I've kind of invaded his space now, um, are my Tiffany & Company posters. These are something that I had to beg and plead for and maybe <laughs> offered to go dumpster dive for. They were gonna throw them out and I was like, I will be your best friend if I can just know when you're gonna throw them out and I will come and get them. So I was lucky enough to get two of them and we just recently got them framed. And so Jake framed them for me, he did a good job. Okay, so continuing on this wall, we do also have our leather sewing machine. Um, when we do use it, we kind of square it up on this wall so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, this can handle leather, you know, f like at least a half an inch or more thick. Um, it works really well. We've used it for wallets, um, you know, making small bags, that kind of thing. So it's kind of a new addition for us, so we're still learning how to do things with it, but it's been fun. This is kind of our cart of leather goods, all of our stains and dyes, our rivets, um, and then some of our finishing uh, leather ties at the bottom. Um, up here on the ledge, so this used to be kind of a, the room itself used to be a bonus room where there was like a pool table and this was set up to be like a bar. So I do have this awesome granite ledge in here. So of course, let's take advantage. Um, I got these little cute um, cubes and storage um, at Target, I believe a few years back. I don't know that they make them anymore, but they were such a great size for such small items that I had to have them. So I put like notepads, little drawing pads. Um, there's some like office supplies. It just makes a good display. And over here in the center, I have my attache case display. <laughs> um, these are vintage Samsonite attache cases that they came out with, I think in the early 2000s. Um, these are remakes from cases that they made in the 70s. And they're super cute. They have these really fun linings on the inside. Um, let's see. So all of them have these fun printed um, floral kind of pattern linings in them. This was the Black Label Signet Collection, um, but it was a, a redo of a, a print and a thing that they made back, like I said, in the, it's like the 60s or the 70s, but I really loved them when I first saw them, but they were very expensive and I was young, <laughs> so. I waited until I was older and people were selling them and I started to collect them. A lot of them I found off of eBay. Um, my very first one was the larger black one and I actually found a person locally um, that worked for Samsonite that had bought one and she was selling it and so that was my first. Down here, again, more pen storage. Um, a lot of my inks, a lot of fountain pens, um, I collect Lammies, so I have like all my Lammies in here. Um, just fun visual stuff to look at. My pencil sharpener collection, all of these little elephants are pencil sharpeners. These guys here. I've got my ramen notes. Those are actually sticky notes. I've got my pad of butter notes. I've got my popcorn erasers, my giant crayon, you know, the things you need in life, right? Um, and then bottles of ink, so I keep those in here. Down here, um, more kind of office supplies, um, paper clips. I love paper clips, I have a problem. There's a whole thing of like specialty paper clips, these giant hands, these cute ones that people have made, um, some that I have made, um, a whole bunch of these different wire big clips, little clips. You need a clip, 
I probably have it. This whole back section is all clips. Um, I have all the Midori clips, every kind of clip. And then again, we just have more storage down below. This piece was also from Ikea. It matches the big one. This is also new. I have scrapbooking and project life things in these containers and in the center and some more photographs. And then moving on down here, we've got a lot of my bead storage, button storage. Um, this cabinet I think was from Target. If I remember correctly, I have two of them. And then again, another one of these. So just small item storage. Some of my favorite little buddies over here. Um, that's something, my first little cross stitch project. That's from Pretty in Pink. And then I have a whole wall of washi tape. Um, lots of washi tape. <laughs> My husband comes up here and he's like, what do you do with all this tape? Like, why do you even need this tape? And it's like, well, obvious reasons. Look, we've got fall tape, Christmas tape, Chihuahua tape, movie ticket tape, floral tape. I mean, there's tapes for every reason, right? Um, this one was a really special gift. Um, these are all handmade um, by this company they're all super nice. I, I couldn't recommend it more. I also have their um, office to go kind of case. That's really cool. Um, and another pin organizer on my table I'll show you, but all super well made. Then I have like a little, this turns kind of a lazy Susan um, full of just staplers, hole punches, decorative scissors, all kinds of stuff. Another storage container, again from Michaels. Um, this one has just a lot of paper goods, cards, rubber bands, um, more store, like all this is like kawaii kind of cutie stuff, um, it, you name it. I have a notebook problem, so there's a lot of notebooks in there. Um, then we go to this wall. So this is actually made up of four of these units so this is one two and then three four so this has a lot of different craft type things so i tried to separate it so i have all my stamping supplies in this unit i've got a lot of my notebooks and how to kind of crafty books in this section and then over here i've got you know glues tapes markers drawing supplies general craft, um, glitters, um, embossing stuff, cutters, all that kind of stuff over here. So just a lot of storage. So now to come back to the center of the room um, and just to give you an idea of scale, this table was built for this room. Um, it's eight feet long and it's four feet tall I think maybe three and a half four feet tall um, so it's a big table <laughs> it's about the same width across as well so um, about four feet wide um, it was built for us by actually a volunteer firefighter here where we live and we had him build it with a really soft wood on the top I think it's ash if I remember correctly um, it's really nice because you won't, you know, get splinters or anything if it were like plywood or something of that nature. So we've really liked it, um, enjoyed using it, um, and it fits the space really nicely. The good thing about it too is it does, he did put a shelf in the bottom of it for me. So there's some extra storage. So I have more sticker storage, um, <laughs> basically stickers, stickers, and then some tubs. Um, I keep some photographs and some, you know, cards and letters and things we want to keep. Um, some kits from previous cr uh, craft, you know, things that you can buy online. Um, and then some of my bigger cutters and larger pieces of paper. Um, and then again, I have these carts. So I love the carts because they're mobile. You can move them out and around. Um, if you just need some extra storage really quick, put it on there, organize it later. This is my favorite cart. I even have some markers I need to put away, but 
Um, this houses a good majority of all my pins, um, pencils. I've got my highlighters. I've got my volumes from Blackwing. These are some of my favorite pencils. Um, any kind of pen or marker you can think of, I've probably tried it or it's in this cart somewhere. Um, <laughs> love them. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, again, my husband would call that a hoard, but for me, it's just something fun. <laughs> it's my fun cart. So um, then going back on top of the table, I do keep craft mats um, kind of everywhere and then also just um, you know stuff for paint so we do also have the the wipeable mats I keep those under the table and also um, butcher paper so we can roll that out and throw it away when we're done also at the front of the table I do have these little bars from Ikea um, I got these these are actually shower hooks um, these are the hooks that kind of were suggested from Ikea but I didn't really love them so I got these shower hooks from Target and I just hang my rulers, um, stencils, this little basket, all my scissors. These are husband approved scissors, um, the only pair. So he knows he can use whatever he wants with those. Um, so yeah, it works out pretty nicely for us. Um, coming around on top of the table, um, I do have a Lazy Susan. Um, again, I have another piece of the, of, of the wood organization from this company. Um, out of Turkey. Um, Jake got me three pieces, so I do have the washi tape cutter, the pin organizer, and then lastly, um, as I pointed to, the kind of desk in a box, um, which is pretty cool. So this opens up. You have organization with these bands to put, you know, scissors, um, pins, refills, whatever you like, and then you can put your notepads and everything down here in this lined felt area. But again, really well made, really pretty pieces of, of wood working. Um, and then again, this spins, so you can kind of just keep more paper clips, <laughs> um, markers, pins, um, any of that kind of stuff just at the ready or what you might be using now. A few little odds and ends and tools. So, but it just makes it handy. Underneath, I keep two stools um, for those who don't like to stand like I do. Again, I'm only five foot one, so standing for me at this table works the best. Um, that's why I had it made so tall, so that there was no you know, bending over for me to have to do. Um, everything can be done at, at you know, my level. So I really like it, and especially for Jake too. He's much taller than me <laughs> at six one. Um, so it works out for both. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look into my craft room and kind of seeing where we make things and we do things. Um, you know, we enjoyed showing you and having you along. Again, sorry I'm not, you know, the organizing guru that can give you every tip and trick, but I hope maybe if you saw something that, you know, inspired you or gave you a good idea that you can run with it and use it in your own craft room. Um, we have a lot of fun in our space and we hope that you do in yours, whatever that may be. I know for me, I started, um, you know, in my parents' garage, <laughs> started my craft space there. Um, and then when I moved here, I had to use a small closet and then we've grown it from there. So, you know, every space can be creative no matter what. And so I hope you find yours. So again, thanks for joining us and, you know, we'll hope to get another video out to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. And again, if you like what you see, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.